and welcome again to Sunshine Plus, your weekly TV delights that outlines the activities and programs of the Ondo State Government. I am Dakmo Arua Joye. On this edition, the long period of untold sufferings in communities across Ondo Southern Senatorial District owing to power outage is coming to an end. And thanks to the Akere Dulu administration and the federal government. For about 10 years now, the inhabitants of the four local government areas in the Southern Senatorial District of Ondo State have been in total darkness owing to lack of electricity supply. These are high tension wire. So these, these lights, they have taken our, our life now over a decade now. So we have been agitating for long. The Southern Central District of Ondo State did not have light. And this is what is happening here for long. So these are high tension wires all the way uh, from the high tension. And this water and the high tension, you know, it's not, it's not good very well. So our people, our children have been playing with the high tension wire for, for long. The development had brought untold hardship on the people as it collapsed small and medium scale businesses. It also stepped up youth restiveness. The situation called for careful planning and consultation at the end of which the Ondo State Governor, Arakuri Oluwarotimi Akeredolu SAM, inaugurated a three-layer power supply strategy to lighten the entire area. The power initiatives which include stand-alone solar systems under the small home power utility, mini-grid power plant through hybrid reciprocating gas engine and independent power plant with collaboration with the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, NDPHT. Residents of Aboto in Elijah local government area of the state are now enjoying electricity supply via the standalone solar power systems provided to all houses in the community. <laughs> Abiyako. So, I do not know to also at Igbobini, a community in SLDO local government area, the governor was at the palace of Olu Igbobini or Rafael Oyedele to commission the solar power project in the community. Tomorrow, I 
The federal government and the Ondo state government brought succor to the people of the Ondo state southern senatorial district through the intervention of the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, NDPHC. <laughs> Arakwe Oluwa Rotimi Akere Dolu SAA had two major town hall meetings with residents of Zelagye, SLD, Irene, and Okutikupa during his visit to the area. The governor also visited the University of University of Science and Technology, also stepped in the Kutikupa for the groundbreaking ceremony of a mini grid that will be cited at the institution. This is proposed for the improvement of electricity supply from Kutikupa and the University of University of Science and Technology of Kutikupa. Yes, it's a good 
The people appreciated the doctor for the intervention that was long overdue. Mr. Governor for coming this time around. You know, a lot of things. It is true that we have been in darkness for the past 10 years. And our people are really complaining. I think due to the demonstration of some people that don't like no votes, that made Mr. Governor to come and care the yearnings of our people. And as a matter of fact, to be in darkness is not a good thing. And I believe by having them today, agitating for the night and hearing from them, I think it's deep peace for the governor to do the next for our people. We're going to cooperate. The kings are going to cooperate because we have told them nobody should to, to ask for any money from the contractor until this project is made, all in the name of uh, corporate social responsibility. Everybody should work hand in hand with the contractor to make sure we have life for our people. <laughs> Mr. President, power down one for one. Mr. Gomina, power down one for you. They did a yes, I get in a juna letter, they did a monkey. They're my last Susie. No market, they mean you're not cutting.